Welcome to Ohio Weddings. And today we're going to talk about wedding videography. Mm -hmm. well, I have been in wedding videography for 20 years, and I tell you, I was very impressed with the work that we saw in our very first episode. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> the real wedding. Can you tell us a little bit about that wedding that was in the first episode? Yeah, absolutely. So that was Johnny and Kristen, and they were a very sweet, genuine couple um, that contacted me, and they were just interested in having their story told through video. and. It ended up being one of those perfect summer days. Um, they had their wedding at a barn in Westerville, Ohio. And Kristen is one of those brides that you know spends every waking hour on Pinterest gathering ideas. So she had the peonies, she had the, the nice turquoise color, and um, see the centerpieces of her tables were just gorgeous. You know, everything was wrapped in yarn. She had like the cotton, and it was just. It was a dream wedding. It was very well executed as far as planning to actual event. It was mm -hmm. gorgeous. Well, let's talk about why a couple should actually put video on the list because we know from the knot that it is the biggest regret mm -hmm. that a bride has after the wedding. Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I still have brides that come to me and say, I wish I had a video made because I'm... A video is just a unique way to relive your wedding day. Um, there's something about seeing yourself in your film, I think, that just transports you right back to that moment in time. It's, I don't know if you've had those experiences where you hear a song or you smell a smell and it just takes you back to some memory that you had tucked away that you had forgotten about. Um, so with wedding videos, not only are you seeing yourself, but you're hearing the things that your guests, your officiant are saying to you, you're hearing the things that you say to each other. Mm -hmm. And it's it's an emotional experience, really is what it is, which I think is what makes it so fun. You know, you think yeah. about the things you watch that you respond to, it's that motion, you know, it's why Hallmark commercials make me cry. Mm -hmm. It's why, you know, movies like Napoleon Dynamite finally make me laugh two weeks later. You know, you just you live in those moments and and as couples I think the day goes by so fast, it's a blur. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't remember anything that was said on my wedding day. And so to be able to, after the fact, sit down and relive your day at your own pace is something priceless. And, and two, the other thing that a lot of my couples come to me wanting a video is to show their kids. Yes. You know, on through the generations. I mean, who wouldn't want to see their parents, you know, interacting with each other? And Well, I can say after being in the business for 20 years, my customers did say mm -hmm. that the children watched it the most. Yeah. They really did. They really <laughs> did. Great. And it was such a, a neat feeling. Mm -hmm. But what would you say as far as tips? What kind of questions should they ask as far as choosing a wedding videographer? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And. It's, it is nice to go into a meeting with a videographer prepared with a few questions so you know what you're getting, um, you know, your videographer's style. Um, one of the things is, from a technical aspect, I would ask them how they cover audio. Because again, you know, you're hearing the things that you want to remember, so you want to make sure it's recorded in good quality. So what's their plan of attack for how they're going to cover your ceremony, for example? You know, are they going to mic the groom? Are they going to mic the efficient? You know, are they having multiple sources? So if something fails, you know, nothing is lost. Um, so that's a good question. And then another technical question would be, what type of other gear do you bring? Because now that now that wedding videographers are filming with these DSLR cameras, the cameras that photographers use, they can bring along a lot of additional gear with them from these sliders that give you these nice, you know, kind of panoramic shots to these glide cams, these harnesses that they wear to give you these nice sweeping shots, you know. If that's something that you want or that's something that, you know, you don't want someone to bring along, you know, that type of equipment, it's good to know. Mm -hmm. And same with lighting as well, you know, receptions are dark, so so what's your videographer wanting to do with dimly lit mm -hmm. situations? Yeah. Um, a question that I like getting is, how did you get started in the business? 
So whereas it's not necessarily a deciding factor, I think it helps establish a relationship with your videographer. And sometimes their answers might surprise you. You know, it might be someone who is looking for a creative outlet and just this is what they love doing. I think their passion comes across then, you know, when you ask that question. Well, thank you so much, Yeah, Lee. absolutely. Yeah, I really appreciate all the great tips that you're giving all the brides today. Sure.